Hello guys, uh, welcome, welcome to this channel. Uh, my name is Mr. Paul and now today we're going to be looking at understanding car diagrams. Now, here I have a car diagram here. I want you to pay close attention as I, as I uh, explain how we are going to tackle this car diagram. Now, the question to this one, let me just write the question. We are looking at the car that goes first here, okay? So, uh, as you can see, we have three cars here. We have C here. Let's check the margin. We have C, right? We have B, and we have A. I hope they are, they are visible. So, C in terms of going this direction, right? B here and A straight, right? So, uh, just by looking at this, we can say that car A will give the right way to car B and car B will give the right way to car C. Okay? Now, uh, what I tell some of my students, I say, I just say, you do it uh, anti clockwise, right? So you just imagine yourself like uh, there is a circle here. So this one gives the right way to this and this to this, right? So this car, it's there's nothing on its right, so it is the first car to move, right? So it will move first, yeah. But then there is also another rule which says that. So here we have used two rules, right? So let me just write them those rules. So rule one that we have used is give way to traffic from your. So this is the traffic that we have used. Okay, as you can see, car A gave way to B and B gave way to C, right? So that's the traffic that we that, that's the road rule that we have used. Okay, now we have arrived at C. Now C here wants to turn right, but it wants to turn in front of oncoming traffic. There comes another rule. They just tell you this rule to say that car C can can not turn right in front of car A. So car A is what we call an oncoming vehicle. So car A is oncoming to car C. So car C definitely cannot turn right here in front of oncoming car A. So this is not about according to this rule, right? So we have used two rules here. We have used rule one uh, to arrive at car C, and then car C cannot turn right for one car. So the car that goes first here has to be car A, right? So it it may seem like we have gone here and we've come back to this. Because remember when we started, we started from this point, then A this way to B and B to C. But as C is about to change, it cannot change right. Then we come back to A. So the, this car is the car to go first. So car A goes first. Now I hope I explain that clearly. If you want more, more explanation, uh, I think I'll just give you my number so that you may come to our offices. Also, WhatsApp me if you have any questions uh, on this one. Uh, I will be making more videos like this so that you can clearly understand them in the comfort, comfort of your own home. I understand it's very cold nowadays, so that's even why I'm wearing all this. So, um, yeah, that's it, guys. So, this is my number. Write it down, or I don't know. Okay. So that's my number. Get in touch with me and you can see how we can move that together. So that's it guys. The, uh, the next one we're going to be looking at another car diagram. So these things are very, very um, simple and just needs you to, to know these work rules. If you know these work rules and you use them correctly, I assure you that you can ace, ace these type of questions. So for me, I say goodbye.